<laughs> Hi everybody, hope you guys are doing great and are doing fine. And yeah, hope you have oh pole pole. Hope you have had fun during the day and everything is moving on well. Uh thank you so much for those who support me. I really appreciate you guys. What's up? I really appreciate you guys for your support and you guys mean a lot to me. Uh, today, uh, I want to talk on something, but you guys, I just need your support. Please, 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 please. Those who support me, I appreciate. But those who haven't, please subscribe because here yeah, we share a lot uh, of information about chat bearing and a lot of educative information. And today I have another educative information that I would like to, this kid here is disturbing, but you have to just bear with me. Uh, I have a lot of, uh, you're disturbing my damn recording. Um, you know, when you're educating each other, let's support each other. So today I have another education that I want to, to share or something educative that I want to share with you guys. And this is, especially for new moms, uh, this is very crucial for a new mom because at least you know which step to take after what. Let me ask you something. How do you feel when your one-year-old baby is eating for him or herself? Doesn't that sound good? It sounds good, right? Yeah. So as a mother, you feel very proud. You feel very nice when your baby can eat for him or herself. When you put a, a plate of food and your baby is eating, you feel so you feel so nice, right? Yeah. So today I want to to introduce something which is new, and this is baby led weaning. Have you ever heard of that word, baby led weaning? Yeah. So first of all, what is baby uh, what is baby led weaning? Uh, this is uh, this is an approach. So this is an approach of of no 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 no. Sorry guys, this kiddo here is disturbing. But of course we are going to record because this is this information is very nice and I want to, all of us guys to learn. So, uh, baby uh, baby lady lady winning. As I've said, this is an approach. Of introducing solid sol, solid foods to infants. Can we get that? Introducing solid foods to infants that allow them to feed themselves from the start. It allows you to feed they, they feed themselves from the start. So rather than rather than being spoon rather than being spoon fed uh, for purees, but lady uh, but this this approach of uh, of baby lady winning. It helps the baby to feed themselves from the from the day go, from the time you start your solids. Sorry, baby. Sorry, guys. I have to just, but you have to just bear with me. Anyway, my information is starting this approach. I've become an advocate of that because I've found it very helpful. I've found it very nice. I've found it very. Uh, because it helps the baby, it encourages the baby. Instead of uh, of spoon feeding your baby with the puree or with things like that, this thing help. This approach helps. And why why have I said it? It helps from the from the, the from the from the start because it offers babies variety of appropriate. Uh, it offers a uh, what can I how can I put this? It it offers a. Uh, a variety of appropriately sized and textured food to explore. You know that when you are giving your baby this kind of food, you will you will know that this kind of food my baby likes, this kind of food my baby doesn't like. So it helps it helps them to explore varieties of food. And why I'm saying it from the day start, from the time you, your your baby starts solids, this is the right time to start uh to start on this approach of baby of baby led winning. So. First of all, we're going to look at some. Uh, we're going to look at some few things which, uh, which, which. Uh, how can I put it? Which are helpful. I can say. Why should you? Why should you? You can ask yourself. Why should I? Why should I start this method? Why should I use this approach? So listen to me. I'm going to give you some few hints on why this approach is very, is very, is very helpful for your baby. First of all, it helps your baby to develop fine motor skills. 
you understand motor skill the hands when the you when your baby gets the hands and drops in the food and gets it and put it to the mouth you see the skills the those motor skills your hands and the baby because you help the baby you can either the baby can either use a spoon but only just taking the spoon to the to the mouth please i'm recording please baby baby i'm recording so it is very help it helps your baby's motor skill but what about the other thing hand hand eye coordination what 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 do i mean here by hand eye coordination when your baby sees the food then uses the hands or the spoon and then picks the food and then put in the mouth the hand eye coordination so find the, the the baby is coordinating and not only coordinating remember that there is something that baby is learning here from the mind here the cognitive skills that this is mine this is my my food i'm supposed to pick my food and put it in the mouth so from the day go when the baby is 7 months you are trying to help you are teaching so the motor skills and high code i i i the i uh, the hand eye coordination but what the other thing chewing abilities when your baby you know uh, at that time when the, your baby is so little there is no uh, no a lot of teeth maybe there are some two teeth that have have just developed but then chewing because as i'm encouraging this baby lady winning you start with very soft foods very 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 soft so that when your baby picks and puts in the mouth the baby can chew so chewing abilities you see is in that baby way the uh, led winning approach uh, very very appropriate for for you to start for your baby chewing chewing abilities but what the, what about the other thing promoting positive relationships with food your baby can see today i'm eating this then you know they they have that there are some babies who are so picky they pick they pick this they leave this they pick this they leave this you see but then the basic idea is to start with soft foods which are manageable you put some pieces of food which are very manageable that, that the baby can easily grasp and bring to the mouth independently so the baby is able to grasp the food and put in the mouth independently but then here what what most uh, parents and caregivers do here they start with the soft things you can say steamed vegetables you can go for steamed squash you can go for steamed potatoes you can smash um and also uh, a, a cooked meat listen to me here carefully cooked meat cooked fish something when you are starting with your baby you are you are supposed to get something something which is very very soft so that they can easily pick and put it in the mouth so don't say that half cooked meat blah blah blah, blah. no here it's not the time to talk about half cooked meat or or medium cooked or whatsoever cook your, your your food properly so that your baby can have can enjoy sometimes even varieties of fruits you put variety of varieties of fruits and then you help the baby to what you help the baby to pick using using the hand so it's very important that to ensure you offer it's you you have offered very appropriate uh you have offered uh, appropriate uh uh of uh, food for, for 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 the baby stage of development because there are, there are various stages when your baby is 7 month when your baby is 8 month when your baby is 9 and things like that in the the progress so you make sure that you put you give your baby the food according to the age so those are some of the advantages first of all i've talked about motor skills the hand uh, the eye hand coordination the ability to pick the ability to see you know they can differentiate colors at that time maybe you've put uh, orange carrots maybe you've put a banana you've put an avocado maybe you've put a uh, salmon fish so they can even look at the colors so you find they they, they can be messy of course at that this time where kids be very very messy let them be messy just let them be messy as long as they are learning they can pick make sure that they are picking and sometimes you find that kids they just pick things and spread just all over in the they they they, they spread all over in the in the uh, uh uh the table you find that things are just so messy but don't don't worry about the messy we always clean it we our babies they are always messy and we clean everything up so don't mind about being messy but and the other thing so you have seen the, the the important look at what he's doing he's cleaning my hair <laughs> that's so lovely yeah so as um an advocate of this uh baby lady uh, uh baby led winning i believe that it allows babies to learn to regulate their own food intakes 
and promote wider variety of foods in their diet, which foster eating experience for both babies and parents. It fosters positive eating. You know, when you are eating and you see your baby is also eating, you become so happy. So, however, for care, uh, uh, for for caregivers or for for mothers, uh, I have this warning to 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 give you about baby led uh, approach. This approach, please, baby, don't. I'm recording, please. Uh, what I want to 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 take to give you a precaution is choking hazards. This one is very uh, something to take note of, and that's why I'm saying that if you if you if you have started on this approach, make sure that you are there to to guide. You, you are there to 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 see. Don't just put uh, your baby and then you just go. Your my baby is going to eat. No. And also another thing, make sure that, that you have put pieces which are very appropriate, which a baby can easily capture, can easily uh, grasp, and can easily eat. So make sure that the pieces are very uh, sizable. So you be there, you help your baby in this process, and it's not a one-day thing. A baby led weaning is a process, but you start it as early as possible. When you introduce solid, start on this approach. It will help you as it's helping me now. My baby's one is one and a half but I can just put food there and uh, uh, because I've uh, started with this approach, my baby can just eat. So what about you, an amazing mother? Start that approach because it's the best approach. Hope you've learned about something today on this approach of baby led winning. Hope to see in the next video. Bye for now. Love you.